Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we will be making a simple box using Tinkercad, which is a free 3D modeling software that allows us to use basic shapes to create a final product or design. So to get things started, the first thing we're gonna do is go to the top left hand corner and change the name of the project title to my simple box or my box this is after dragging a box onto the work plane once i have it on the work plane that is half the battle because now we're going to work in a 2d mindset thinking in 2d then shifting to 3d so i'm going to click on to the shape extrude it down just a little bit after I duplicate it I'm going to extrude it down and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna take a negative space or a hole and once I have that hole or negative space I'm going to drag it onto well I'm duplicating first I duplicate this because this will serve as the top of the lid once or or the, the base the bottom base of it once i have the base i'm going to take a negative space or hole of a box and span it just about the same width and length of the original box that i had placed this will be the negative space now i'm going to take the original base and extrude it up accordingly after that i'm going to select both and then group them and you can see the changes have been made so this is our outer skeleton of our box this is where we can store trinkets and different items now the reason i duplicated this is because i'm going to use this as the framework for our lid i'm going to put a sliding lid in our design so what that means is I'm going to take that shape I just made and make it a hole bring it up to just about the top of my design my box design and align it accordingly I then am going to bring it in just enough so that it does not interfere with the outside of the box once I have it placed where I want it, I'm going to slide it through either using the arrow keys or using my mouse. After it makes that mark and you can see that it is making the indent to show where the negative space would go, I simply will change the color to view it better. And once I know that that's the case, I'm gonna group them. So I group the negative space with the box to create that indent. And using my duplicate, this is how you create tolerances, or what we would call a smooth tolerance so that it can fit snug and appropriately. So with the duplicated piece, after changing the name to my simple box this essentially is will work as a sliding piece for the top of the box so using the negative space you duplicate it and then this is how you would make um, a sliding box I'm gonna add some text on top of the design and indent it a little bit by making it also negative space and grouping them so that it shows. So to have a better grip onto the design, I figured I'd want a way to grab it or make it so that it's uh, not as difficult to get to. So I'm going to take this piece or actually drag on another box onto the top of my, my box and make it a rectangle scale it down a little bit so that this little uh, hook or 
this uh, little indent can give me grip to slide it across so this way it works as the perfect sliding box now if you want it to have a little bit more of a smoother um, slide what you can do is click on the top of our box where it says stuff and adjust the length of the box to just a bring it in just a little bit once you do that it will be good to go and you can send it to print now you know how to create a simple box in Tinkercad thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one